Well, hi again, this is Stratman from Pipware.com, uh, continuing on for the installation of Forex trading software onto Linux. And by the end of this video, we would have installed uh, MetaTrader 4. So, the first thing to do when you want to install a Windows application onto Linux is to get Wine. Um, so, here we are on the Wine headquarters website. Uh, just cruise on down to the download link and you'll find a, if we continue down this page you will see the supported Linux distributions here's the Ubuntu Ubuntu 10.04 which is what we need um, this is going to be, these are the beta packages um, now the reason I'm going here is because I want Wine version 1.3 and uh, Ubuntu 10.4 comes with Wine 10. Uh, sorry 1.2 so here is a graphical way of doing everything so you can do everything um, by going through menu structure so you've got to add a the wine headquarters repository so you go to system administration software sources you just follow these instructions here to install the repository then you install wine by clicking on this link and it will just automatically install or you can install it uh, from the command line which is what I'm going to do right now, so the first thing I'm going to do is grab this command here and we just copy it and we need to get hold of the the terminal and the terminal is up here so you go applications accessories terminal and even though we copied that um, you can't go control V, I'm not sure why I can't go control V but if you right click here and just go paste you'll get the command in there, you press enter you've got to type in your password hopefully if you've typed it in right it'll start going through the uh, process of updating the uh, repositories so it's done that now we've got the command prompt back again we will go back to our uh, internet browser so back at the internet browser we need to do the next part which is the update the packages that are in the repository so I'm going to copy that now I haven't done an update on this computer yet so there might be a number of updates not just the wine ones that we will get here so we've got to go back to the the terminal and we're going to paste that in you probably can't see me pasting that in so I'll bring that up paste and here it goes checking all the all the repositories um, I might just bring that up a little bit so you can see it so it's it's updated everything there which is good um, and the last bit is to actually do the wine installation so let's go and grab that so we need this command here so we'll just highlight that paste that in I'll put these on the thread so it makes it easier for you as well okay paste that in there and we've got to choose yes to install and away we go so wine is now being installed on the computer here and very shortly we will install metatrader 4 into it so just wait for that to finish okay so wine 1.3 is being almost installed there's a few other little packages that it needs as well um, so it's installing WinBind here. Um, so when you install something like uh, Wine and it's one, Wine 1 1.3, there'll be a number of other things that'll get installed too because this SMB client is all to do with connections with Windows to other computers, WinBind as well. Um, we've got some TrueType fonts being installed as well and we'll get into something else with the fonts very shortly. Um, Another thing that's likely to be installed in here is, is a thing called Wine Tricks, which we're going to make a, a lot of use of as well. So, come back to that in a minute. So, now with the install, it's unpacking all the applications or all the components of Wine that's been downloaded off the internet and unpacking them all. Uh, that's kind of like unzipping them and now installing them into the Linux system and there we go all good stuff so you should see all these kind of things coming up on your 
your system. Okay, so we've all finished installing and uh, if everything went well, what we should be able to see now is that on our applications menu here, we'll find wine. Now, the big thing here is I want to install things into the into the C drive, which is equivalent to our Windows C drive. If you click on that at the moment, straight after installing wine, nothing will come open. This probably confuses people immensely. So um, to be able to get at that, you need to actually install an application and, and one of the things I know that MetaTrader 4 needs is some of the DLLs in the Windows directory and one of those is um, the DLL called mfc42.dll which resides in the Windows System32 directory now to install DLL some people go and copy them from other Windows things like they might go onto a Windows XP machine, copy it onto a memory stick, bring it over to their computer and paste it into into the Wine directories. But instead of doing that there's a really cool thing called Wine Tricks and so we're going to use Wine Tricks to do this and I've got a couple of things here and so here's, here's Wine Tricks the command for it and we're going to install the Visual C runtime library into Wine so that the Wine, which is basically doing what Windows would do, is going to um, do it. Now you can see Wine is now creating all the directories and downloading from the Microsoft website. The uh, So here's the download from Microsoft, so it's downloading this Visual C uh, runtime pack and we're going to be asked, just like as we would be in Windows, if we want to install all these things. It all happens and voila, we are there. Um, so the Visual C runtimes have been installed. And now during that process, which I kind of got interrupted a little bit, was the fact that um, our, uh, our Wine directories got created. So um, one of the things we're going to do is go and have a look inside the directory structure. And my computer has decided not to respond for a sec. Right, there we go, we're flashing back again. So now um, if we go into our Wine system and we click on this Browse, the browser will come up because it's created the folders and uh, we've got a Windows directory now inside here and our system is there, our system32 is there somewhere as well and inside here will be our MFC42 hopefully so um, and it is just off the screen there just got to wait for, um, I'm running a virtual machine so it's just, just running a little bit slow in here um, so MFC42 is definitely in here, there it is, and that's what MetaTrader requires. The next thing I do is I want to install some Windows fonts, so I'm going into the Wine, Wine directory as we just open it, going into the fonts directory here, and I'm going to install in here uh, fonts off a Windows, an actual Windows computer. The way to do that is to go to Places, and uh, down on this places menu is a is a connector server. You choose that you want to go to a Windows share, uh, and I'm going to type it in. So there's um, connecting to that Windows share that computer. So I'm just connecting directly to that computer, and up, up will come open um, that particular computer with all its shares. And I'm just going to go to my Windows directory. Then I'm going to step into the fonts directory on my Windows system. I'm going to copy all the fonts that are in there, Control A, Control C, and then I'm going to open up the fonts directory that's in my Wine drive and just paste all the fonts in there. And there they go. Okay, so this is as tricky as it could be. And uh, this video is running out of time for YouTube, so Unfortunately, I can't fit in the installation of MetaTrader 4 on this video. I'll do it on the next video. Um, but basically, we use the terminal to install Wine. We got it the terminal off the accessories menu. And now we've got a Wine um, system here that we can browse. So I'll catch you on the next video.